Alright, so we actually returned to Pallet Town today because um, I couldn't figure out how to get past the Seafoam Islands. And I'm trying to get to Cinnabar. So um, we're going to surf south. Last time, if you missed it, we did the Seafoam Islands. And there's there's a whole ass two, two eradicates over there. Okay. Um, we did Seafoam Islands. And Hero caught Articuno, which was pretty freaking awesome. It wasn't as hard as I expected it to be. I only used... Let's see... Um, catching pocket, dear god. Um, I only used like 20 Ultra Balls on it, which wasn't terrible. I only had to do the battle once. So that, yeah, that was cool. So don't miss that one. It was pretty neat. Um, and it's gotten Hero thinking, because again, Hero would have researched this region enough. He would he would know enough about the legends of the, of the region that he visits regularly and is right next to his home region to know that there's three legendary birds, that the other ones are Zapdos and Moltres. And now he's starting to, starting to think, where could the other two be? Right? And it got him thinking about the, um... I'm not gonna open the map to show you, though. The power plant. The power plant backed by, um... Cerulean City? Cerulean City. Um... Could, might be a place to look for Zapdos. That, that might be fun sometime. But right now, he is trying to complete his gym challenge. He's only got two more gyms to go, so he's gonna head to the next. Hey, you. Are you going to Cinnabar Island by any chance? I'm bored. Is it okay if I coach you a bit? Sure. My Pokemon will be super serious. Like, super serious, you guys. I swear. Alright, well, let's get this over with real, real seriously fast. I didn't heal my guys yet, did I? Eh, whatever. It's fine. I'll probably be okay. I only have one Pokemon who's knocked out. Um, Floaty Fall. Yeah, <laughs> look how cute that is. That's not even a two-turn move. That's just a flying-type one-turn move. Okay. And I flinched with it. God, this Pikachu is broken. Yikes. I'll finish it then, Pikachu. Dear God. <sighs> Alright. Didn't get to see what moves that had, so I can't start guessing what her gimmick might be. Jinx. Alright, sure. Um, let's switch to... Um... Nobody, really? Pikachu? <laughs> Pikachu, stay out! <laughs> I would have used Blaze, but Blaze is knocked out because I forgot to heal him because I'm a freaking idiot. Um, let's try a Squishy Splash this time, just for funsies. Didn't do much. Cool. <laughs> I dodged, or she dodged getting kissed because I shouted at her. Alright, sure. Zippy Zap. Boom. Yikes. Right, because Jinx is born. Especially bulky. I should have just used a physical move to start with. Ugh, alright. I'll finish it then. Use broken quick attack. Good job, Pikachu. For some reason, I'm not at all surprised. I don't battle a lot with this Pikachu. Like, I, it's not that I dislike it. It's just this Pikachu is pretty gosh dang strong, right? It, it feels a little unfair. <laughs> it's still pretty frail, though. It's still a Pikachu. I need to remember that. Let's try a Splishy Splash on this. Can't Splishy Splash Paralyze wasn't that its thing? I'd like to Paralyze. Yes, okay, good. Cool. Okay, cool. Alright, well... Let's, uh... Let's switch Pokemon now, I think, probably. Um, Spook, come on out. Maybe this thing only has normal-type moves. Who freaking knows? If not, Spook's probably gonna get knocked out. That's fine. Spook's also frail, and I, I really wish I, I really wish I could evolve evolve him into Gengar, but I can't. It's fine, I'll deal. Um, Dark Pulse, just because you're well, I mean, Psychic probably would have actually done a little more. Oh, this Dark Pulse can flinch though, so I'm I'm using Paraflinch hacks right now. So um, keep Dark Pulsing then, actually. Up, oh, okay. Didn't knock me out, at least, but still. Get it. Come on. And... Okay, never mind. 
pair of flinch hacks aren't aren't too great, I guess. God dang it, man. I should have healed. Should have should I, sh I should have gone back in time and reminded myself to heal. Zippy zap. Finish it, please. Boom. All right. What is your gimmick, young lady? I say as as I AJ, who is older than her and not Hero, who is definitely younger than her. Pretty good, a little present. Okay, so I have all three of the punches now, right? Yep, thanks. I, I never would have gathered that, even though that should be common knowledge. Alright, keep going. Try to avoid any more trainers. That's something we talked about last time. I'm doing coach trainers because they give me things, but otherwise, I'm trying to keep my level... My, my levels as low as possible. Not my one level. There's more than one of them. Um, to make the, the game as challenging as possible, because it's been a good challenge so far, and I'd like to keep that going, right? Um, though, to be fair, Sabrina's gym literally forced me to come at an appropriate level, and it was still the most most challenging gym I faced up to this point. So, um, maybe, maybe I don't need to be creating... Very nice creating artificial challenges for myself anymore. Maybe this game is just a little hard. <laughs> okay, here we go. Yes! Landfall. Now, um... Listen to that music! That's so good! God, the music in this game is just immaculate. Alright, heal me. Well, heal my Pokemon. You, you can heal me too if you want, but like, wouldn't really get, get wouldn't really do anybody much good. <laughs> hmm. My sense of humor needs an overhaul. Uh, anybody in here worth talking to? This guy who's staring at the corner. Hey, are you interested in dark type Pokemon? If you have a Grimer, maybe I could trade my dark type Grimer for it. I don't have one of those, man. Sorry. That's got to be an Alolan Grimer, then, right? Interesting. Yeah, he kind of came to visit Cinnabar Island Gym, but the door is locked tight. There must be a key somewhere, though. Maybe that old mansion? They say that one of the gym leader's friends used to live there. Yeah, Fuji. You have lots of friends. People say Pokemon you get. Yeah, thanks. Thanks. I really wish I had a friend to trade with, then I could evolve my frickin' honor. So good. The music sounds so good. Um, actually, while I'm thinking about it, let's go by the store and um, buy some some repels because I, I need repels. I don't want to deal with with wild Pokemon. Um, max repels, like fifty of them. I've got the money. I'm already a very rich child. <sighs> and, um, is this the lab? Yeah. Let's go give him our fossil Pokemon, I guess, right? Um, is it still, like, over here? Reception room, okay. Don't care about that. Don't need to be received. Research lab, okay. Hello. Ugh, what have I done? I accidentally wrote on the board with permanent marker. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Oh. Well, oh, you're mad. Come on. Come at me. I'm a scientist that's been working without sleep or rest. This is basically the same. You really think you stand a chance? You alright there, buddy? Sorry to taunt you like that all of a sudden. I haven't slept in days. Here, I'll give you this. Do you think you can forgive me? No. I can't. Um, especially not for that, because it sucks. Hello? That's right, Eevee has the potential to evolve and revive me. Mm. Do none of you revive my thing? Urgh, I'm so busy, never mind. Blah, 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 blah. Screw you too, man. Do you heal, revive my guy? Don't you think the machine looks rather like a washing machine? It's not, though. Okay, what is it then? Is it a Xerox? Who revives my Pokemon? 
Okay, it's the experimental lab. Different things, I guess. Are you, is, it, is it you? Do you revive my Pokemon? Hiya! I'm an important doctor. Yes, very well known indeed. Here I study rare Pokemon fossils. Hey! Do you have a fossil for me? I can smell it. Uh, yeah, here. Take, um... Take, take the Dark Lord from me, please. Yeah, I don't... I, yeah, do, do the thing. I don't care. Though, in, in character for a moment. Okay. I don't have to... I don't have to walk around for a long time to make it work? That's stupid. Um, Hero is, of course, fascinated by this. He's not going to use a uh, Kabuto. He's not going to risk, like, damaging this revived extinct creature. But, man, that, that's neat. Um, a Pokemon that was recovered from a fossil. It used the eyes on its back while hiding on the sea floor, and probably still does because it's alive again. Cool. Well, then come back soon. <laughs> what are you running a fossil revival business? What? What? Didn't you? You didn't even. You didn't even want to keep it for like like ten minutes to do research on it or anything. So weird. Such a weird guy with such a weird attitude. I'm leaving. This place is shady as all get out. Shady AF. What do you say? These scientists sometimes go into the Pokemon Mansion to carry out different experiments. Are they shady experiments? Because uh, the 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 scientists in this world seem kind of nutter butters. Um, just checking around the last few little bits of the island. Go talk to this person with the magmar. There is, of course, no volcano on this island. In the Cinnabar Island, Jim's Blaine is an odd one. He's lived on the island since way before the Pokemon Lab was built. Ma 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 ma. Cool. Um, so, my theory, especially considering that the volcano is kind of, like, up in this area-ish, kind of in this corner, is that either it's something that Blaine himself did, that, like, he used a really powerful Pokemon attack and it caused the eruption somehow, like, maybe there's an undersea volcano here that was inactive. Or it was just an undersea volcano that became active again and it, like, violently popped up or whatever and took out part of the island. But it, it, it is very conspicuous that there is no... Um, there's the key. Yeah, okay. I, I was going to say, there's going to be a hint there, right? Because um, there's, there's no volcano here, so the question is, how in Gen 2... Did a volcano erupt and destroy everything? All right. Well, let's catch a Grimer so we can trade to that guy because he really wanted a regular Grimer, right? Might as well. I'm a, I'm a nice. Screw you, Grimer. I'm a nice guy, right? Not gonna remember to do it, of course, but you know. I like this battle background too. I like all the battle backgrounds in this game. Like, this isn't a battle background, it's a catching background. I mean, same, same difference, right? Looks cool. Made of congealed sludge, it smells too putrid to touch. Even weeds won't grow in its path. Yuck. Grimer's adorable, though. I don't, I don't understand all the hate for Grimer. Alright, let's see. Um. No, oh, come on. There you go. Do that. Now explore in here. Can't fall down there, okay. Hmm. The layout here feels similar to in past games. Yeah, there's even the spoopy statues and everything. Come on. Oh good, that'll replace the one I just used. I'm looking for scientist notes too that I can read. I imagine they'll look less like just background details, though, right? Cool. Hopefully that did something useful. I don't remember which ones do what, frankly. Did it open this? 
I might open this. That could be useful. Hmm. Okay. There's an item. Hidden under the table. I don't have any Pokemon out of their Pokeballs right now either. I should probably get one out. Um, who, who would be a cool Pokemon to have out in here? Can pins come out of a ball in here? Yeah, okay, let's get have pins out then. I haven't had pins out for a while. So I don't want I, I like floating around on Haunter, but I also don't want to float around on Haunter when I'm trying to navigate, like, tight corners and stuff, you know? Okay, there's another spoopy statue. There's a guy. Hello, guy. Um, give me this item. Are you still a burglar in this game? Yeah, I can't get out! This whole place is one big puzzle! Um, the stairs are, are right there, man. And then it's just a straight shot at the door. Yeah, he's still a burglar in this game. Interesting. I don't think we've had burglars since Gen 1 either. How cool. Oh, I should have switched Pokemon. A ground type would definitely be stronger in here. Or a water type, but a ground type in particular. Because of the poison. Well, I don't have to worry about wild battles, though, do I? Are there any trainers in here who use poison types? Who use the local poison types? I don't know. Really? You couldn't knock it out? Blaze, seriously, man. Come on. Finish it off. Let's get out of here. Christ in heaven, man. <sighs> Pikachu leveled. That's definitely what she needed. Oh no, my bag of loot or something. Because AJ wasn't actually reading... What I said and is only guessing. <laughs> uh, let's let's switch to. I mean pins probably right. Probably my best best shot, because um, ground types good against yes definitely ground types good against fire and um, she'll resist the other poison types if I run into people with poison types. Okay. Grab this. I do kind of remember this. Can I, can I get to that ladder? I want that ladder. <laughs> that seems important. <laughs> um, let's explore more over this direction. And then um, go click the button. There's a, there's a thing that's definitely readable. Because I'm curious if they've updated any of the language used in the in the Mewtwo research notes, right? Because they use some some stuff like Mew gave birth, we called the offspring Mewtwo or something, right? Which doesn't, it, like, that isn't accurate to how Mewtwo was created. Um, Diary July 5th. We discovered a new Pokemon deep in the jungle. Which, I actually watched a video about this recently. The jungle in this seems to be, that they're, that they're talking about in this, seems to be the Pokemon equivalent of, like, a deep South American jungle or something. And we actually technically go there... Well, you can actually technically go there in one of the games for a Mew Capture event. So we actually technically have been to South America in the Pokemon games before. I think it was Leaf Green and Fire Red. Um, but just... It's just a little fun fact. Is that it? Yeah, cool. That was, um... Real comprehensive entry there, bud. Uh, anything up here? Do, 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 do. There's a coach trainer in here for some reason. Alright, let's uh, do that. Oh dear, I thought you were a burglar, but you're a kid trainer. Well, you want to have some fun with me, a coach trainer? I do. Hero does too, for different reasons. Let's go! She's probably gonna have poison types, right? Rita. I know a graveler. Okay, sure. That makes sense thematically. Though to be fair, graveler is not a bad Pokemon to bring in here if you want to explore a place with a bunch of poison type and possibly fire type Pokemon, right? Get it? Drill run. Drill run right through it. <sighs> Freaking 
Frickin' durable asshole. No, oh, that's not gonna do anything. <sighs> you suck. Finish it, please. Thank you, Pans. You're, you're a real deer. Alright, so what's your gimmick gonna be, then? Lady. It's gonna be leveling up my Pokémon. Maybe she'll just give me rare candies like the last one did. I'm trying to decide how I want to use those rare candies. Um. Pikachu? Um. Tree Frog would have been a perfectly fine option as a Polyrath, too, you know. Actually, I probably should have used Tree Frog, right? I'm always complaining that Pikachu levels up too fast. <sighs> Alright. Um. Thunderbolt? Because I'm pretty sure this thing has higher defense than special defense. I'm probably wrong about that, though. I don't really know much about Polyrath. Um, okay, I dodged the mission. Is her gimmick just recoil moves, then? Because she used takedown and then submission. It's weird if it is. Then what move are you going to give me? Submission? Please don't give me submission. I don't want submission. Submission's terrible. Like, it's called submission... But it, it, it damages you? That's the whole point of a submission hold, is that you aren't supposed to be damaged by, by it. You aren't supposed to, like, wear out your own body with it, right? It's not like a suplex or something. Ugh, stupid. Mega Drain. That, that could hurt a little, actually. Yeah. Now, Mega Drain. Drain it, Megaly. How much will that heal? Enough that I'll be fine. That's really all I care about. I was hoping I'd get a full heal out of that. With how much damage I did. But it's alright. Still above half. I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be even more above half in a second. And there we go. Cool. Bye. Seriously, though, what's your gimmick, lady? Hmm. Good level. Defense is getting really high up there, which is good. Yep. Wow, I'm surprised. Yeah, you all say that. Battling with you was so much fun here. Rock slide, that's not bad. Um, yeah, I know. Thanks. I know it's called rock slide. I know it's not hard to figure out what it does. Can any of my guys learn that? Because that's not a bad move. Um, TM's. Rock slide. Um. Yeah. Not gonna teach it to anybody yet. But if I need a rock move, there, there, there we go. Um. There were stairs back the other way, too, right? So what's the difference? Um. This gives me this. Okay. There's a scientist. Is... Yes, I want to use another repel. Thank you. And, um... Okay. Not super worried about that, either. I'm thinking... I, I, don't, I don't know if I explored the... the other level well enough, but, um... I'm gonna keep exploring this one, it's fine. There's that ladder. Okay, um... Yeah, I'm gonna skip the battle with him, I'm not gonna show it, but I, mean, I need to battle him, so, you know. His name's Brayden. That's unfortunate, man, I'm sorry. Drill Run is turning out to be a very good investment. Yeah, Pins just totally drill ran right over that guy's whole team. It's troubling when you can't get where you want to go. Try climbing that long ladder. No shit, man. Um, where would that take me to, though? Uh, alright, let's explore over there first. How annoying. And down. Okay, that's an ace trainer. Not even gonna bother with that. 
So it's someone I'll keep in mind if I need more levels later, right? But um, I don't want to. I don't want to fight somebody that tough right now. All right, long ladder it is then. <sighs> And down. It didn't take me very long for it being such a long ladder. Grab that. Okay, that's useful. Um, can I sneak by you? I'm not gonna be able to sneak by you, am I? Whatever. <sighs> Get this over with. And it's over with. Let's, um... Keep moving then. Grab that. Very nice. I've got like two of those now. Sure. Where, where does this take me? To a small child and a teleport? What? What's this teleport? I'm gonna save first. Okay. No. Never mind that. Let's um, go down the stairs then and pretend that didn't happen. <sighs> okay. Definitely recognize this area. September 1st. You two is far too powerful. We have failed to curb its vicious tendencies. Yes, another one, please. So, I don't know if you can still find it in this game, but, um... Was it... Oh, ooh, ooh. Was it Gen 1? Was it the Gen 1 games where you could find it, or was that, a, like, the Gen 2 games or something? Couldn't have been the Gen 2 games. One of the games. One of the games in one generation or another where you can visit the mansion. You can find dittos here, and they... Like, Adam, maybe it was maybe his yellow version? They, like, added them retroactively. And, um... That's led to a really popular theory. That... Um, Ditto is a failed clone of Neo. Because it's got similar weight, similar color palette, and regular and shiny. And it's the only Pokemon aside from you that can learn Transform. In fact, that's its whole gimmick. And um, I think that's a pretty interesting, interesting theory. I think it's it's probably actually accurate. There's there's something over there. Let, let's sneak by this guy and look over here. Oh yeah, I have to go up and around. It looks like. Um, grab this. Cool. Um, I got though. Let's let's go do that before I forget. Um, TM case. Sludge Bomb. I have been looking for this for so freaking long. And, um... Is that a pedal dance? And also, probably... <sighs> I never use... Freaking... Um... I don't know. I don't. I don't think I want to. I think I'm gonna. I think. I, I think I'd like a priority move. I was gonna say get rid of Sucker Punch. And um, I don't have any physical poison moves, do I? No, it doesn't look like it. All right, that's fine for now. I've just man, I've I've wanted wanted a poison move on Venusaur for so freaking long. I'm so happy to finally have that. Sneak by that guy. And this. Uh, be open. Did I not actually push the button? I didn't actually push the button, did I? Dear God. Uh, push the button. Yeah, I heard it heard it moving somewhere and also saw it literally right in front of me. Sneak by you. Freaking burglars. Yeah, there's a freaking scientist. Is this a bed? Can I sleep in this bed? Yeah. Now let's, um, sneak by this scientist, I guess, since he actually turns. Turn again. Don't notice my Nido Queen. 
Okay, grab this. Okay. There's a TM you get through here in the original games. I guess it's not here in this one. Not that I really need it, but like it would have been nice to get. Cool. Now, turn. Thank you. Turn. Thank you. Now this should be open. Oh, that's interesting. Oh my god. <laughs> that's just straight up where they clone you to. Holy shit. I wonder if there's anything interesting that happens if you bring Mewtwo here. Because, like, you can do that in this game, right? And have it floating around outside of its ball. Are these more cloning tubes? Is there, like, did, were, did they, like, clone other Pokemon here, too? Holy shit! So this game just straight up confirms that there were other failed clones. My god, this is this is excellent. Can I escape rope out of here to save me some time? Man, this game is a little hardcore, man. I love it. <laughs>